Well guys, we're finally here, okay? So the Super 6 set of keys is ready. And what these are designed for is six pin cylinders. That's why it's called Super 6, but on obviously there's six of them. Uh, six pin cylinders that share the same pin spacing. So I'm gonna show you what I mean now. So basically we have Swashler and other no-name brands that have what I would call narrow pin spacing. Whereas so if you come over here, We've got uh, an ERA, we've got a Q, uh, we've got a Carl F, and we've got uh, a Trade Locks, and you can see that all these share the pin, same pin spacings, and these are the most common ones. Now, what I've designed is a set of keys that we're going to rake and bump over the lock. Now, what you'll see if I get my highest cut key, you'll see that the each peak perfectly tallies up with the pin spacings, and basically you can start start at the back of the lock and rake backwards or start at the front of the lock and rake forwards. And um, we've got lots, and I've been trying these and trying these, we've got lots of different peaks and troughs, okay? And I, I think this is the most complete set, as in the biggest chance of success. So uh, on the website, these will be available, and also it will be constantly updated about which cylinders, it, I'm not saying it won't work on the narrow ones, but it works better on these because the peaks are touching all the pins at the same time. So on the website, I will be uh, giving a list of pins, uh, sorry, cylinders that share these same pin spacings. So hopefully I'm going to give an awesome fucking demo of how I want you to use these keys because you can basically use them in a combination of a raking action or if you're going to a default set, which I'll be showing you, more than likely you're going to be able to bump with that same key. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with an Apex One start, okay? in lock okay so i'll just start off with the number one key so i'll just go all the way from the keys and start off and basically what you do is keep it vertical to begin with and feather light tension and just start raking backwards see oh look at that deep bolt set there just start raking backwards and forwards and i'd say give each key 20 30 seconds see that nice bolt set just very very light tension okay so to speed it up i know which particular key works on this so I'm going to insert it into the lock. I'm just going to give it a very, very, very light raking. Very, oh, full set. Very light raking indeed, okay? And I'm talking, oh, look at that. So, you know, that's indicating that we're going to get the lock. So in, just left and right. Start it off. No bullshit in these beds. Just going to start it. Thank you, Joe. Hold it straight for me. Okay. Oh, full set. One star for a reason, guys. There we go. So we've got that one, okay? I'm not saying like the magic keys, you've got to give them a little bit of technique and a bit of finesse, okay? So there you go, Apex one star, absolutely bummed. So let's work on a UAP, okay? So again, I'm going to start off with my key number one. If I can just flip this around, sorry. There we go. So I'll start off on key number one, and I'm just going to go in, keep it vertical. And to begin with, I, what I suggest is just ride it at 12 o'clock. And all we're going to do... Oh, big, dirty full set. There we go. You can see that, even though it's the wrong way. You could put a pud spin attachment onto that and flick it around. But you see that UAP was nice. It was nice, okay? So, let me just uh, come around here. So this is, what I wanted, this is what I was talking about when I was on about uh, raking and bumping. So basically, uh, again, I'll just start off at number one. This back booster. Little rakesy, rakesy, little rakesy, rakesy, okay? Now, if you find a key that it goes into a deep fold set, so this is the actual key, it goes into a real deep fold set straight away. So if you just watch the cylinder, See that? Big false set straight away. Big false set straight away. Then you could try it again straight away, straight away, false set. So that would indicate that you are very close to getting the lock open, but unfortunately one of the peaks won't be high enough. So I'll just show you that there's no skull dug So what I've done rather than do it on a set of keys, I've got the exact same key there. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is rake it again. False set false set okay so in that scenario what you would try is try bumping it so i'm just going to pull it out a little touch oh 
a lot. So you can see that you can use a combination of raking and bumping, r &B, or rumping. Hello. Uh, let's have a look at another lock. Yes. Uh, Q. My friend and your best friend. Fucking horrible, horrible locks they are. Okay, horrible lock. So I know which particular uh, key this goes with. And you're going to see this does require very, very finger-like tension. So I'm just going to start it vertical and work it back towards me. Huge, horrible things. Come on. And you can see I almost pulled the key out because I'm just trying to rate the pins. Come on. It'll go. It'll go. No bullshit in these bits. No bullshit. Try new. Nearly. Nearly went. I almost have to pull the key out to get this lock to go. There you go. See that, guys? Now, in this scenario, okay, you can see the tip of the key is almost out. So if I was to turn this upside down 180 degrees, there is a chance that the driver pins are going to get snagged. So, again, in that scenario, what I would do personally do is get a, a, a plug spinning attachment to spin your key round and you'll be fucking happy days. Okay, okay. So, uh, let's go to another one, another brand. I know, LSH, Lurs, obviously normally they go with the EPG, but you know what I mean, it just shows that the different variety of cylinders this will work on. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to sort my keys out. Buh, 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 buh. Buh, buh, buh. There we go. So, in, give it a little oh, false set, false set, false set. So, you can either try bumping that or we're just going to move on to a different key. Oh, hello. Happy fucking days, absolutely smashed that, LSH. Let's try one in a locked door, shall we? So, got a nice comp door with some sweet handles with an ERA six pin. And literally what we're gonna do is, I know one of the keys work, but I've already forgot which one it fucking is. So I'm gonna cycle through them and show you how I want you to do it. So, start off on number one, just finger light. Oh, well that's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's not disappointing because we've now got the fucking door open, guys. Uh, just come around here with the door. So it does actually work on three uh, three star cylinders that share the same profile. So, for example, the ATK Plus. Obviously, this doesn't have trap pins, so you'd be safe to rake this. It does rake, but I've only ever had it twice, okay? So we could be here for about another half an hour. Uh, other cylinders that I've had success with. The AK three star, because you can actually see somewhere on them. I have marked them up, what it goes with. Uh, key four or six. That one went with key three. Again, uh, it's a bit hit and miss with this, but again, you only have to open them one once. What else have I had success with? Uh, yes, don't even know what this is, but this is another three star that I've had success with. So, these will be on the website, okay? £40 posted, first class, for a set of six. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your videos and pictures because trust me guys, this bones many, many different locks open. Alright guys, take care, have fun, dream big and let's fucking whack some six pinners. Oi, oi!